This is section 412. We're going to take a look at properties of logarithms. So we're going to expand a log using these properties. So there's going to be two extra properties that we're going to be adding to the one that we've already learned, right? We learned the power rule, which was if you have some sort of log and inside there is an exponent, you can move that exponent to the front of the log. That's one of the properties. The next property is called the product rule. Now the reason why it's called the product rule is because we are multiplying inside of a logarithm. That's what a product is mean, multiplying. Now if you are multiplying two different factors inside of a log, you can break it up with addition into two separate logs, which each of those factors inside of the log. So if I wanted to break this one up, I can look at that as log base 3 of 9 plus log base 3 of 27. So one factor for its own log, another factor for its own log. And because it's multiplication, I could break it apart with addition. And you can actually go through and simplify the log from there. What power do I need to raise 3 to get 9? It's going to be 2. What power do I need to raise 3 to get 27? That's going to be 3. And you can go through and you can actually simplify logs that way. The next is the quotient rule. This should be gold. But the next is the quotient rule. And it's the same thing as the product rule, except we're now dividing. And if we are dividing, meaning it's in the denominator, it's actually going to be broken apart with a minus. So anything in the denominator is going to have that minus or that negative with it. So log base t of 8 over w, I can expand that. One log, second log. I can expand that on top. My log is positive. Bottom, my log is negative. Then we can go through and do that. Now, a few common errors. Multiplying inside doesn't mean you're multiplying those two logs. That's why we have that. Those are not equivalent. If we're adding two things inside of a log, it doesn't mean you can break it apart with addition like that. If we have dividing stuff inside of a log, it does not mean you're dividing two separate logs. And if the entire log has an exponent, you cannot move it to the front. And as a reminder, log base E is the same as ln. So let's go ahead and do something called expanding this. So we're going to essentially use those properties that we just looked at, and we're going to expand it. Well, this is x squared over x to the fourth. Well, this will actually reduce the x squared and the x to the fourth. That's going to cancel out a little bit, and I'm going to get an x squared on the bottom. Then... I can use the quotient rule. So this is on top, so I can break it into two separate logs. One, two, so I can break it into two separate logs. Because the x squared is in the denominator, my log is going to be negative. The x, the y to the fifth, it's in the numerator, that's why it's positive. So positive and negative. Once you expand it, you can move the five to the front. You can move the two to the front and there is your fully expanded log. Now, if you ever get a root, what we actually need to do is we need to convert it into an, an exponent. So remember, a root is the same as a fractional exponent, so we're going to convert it that way. Now, I can go ahead and take that one-third, use that power rule, and move it to the front. And then now, inside this log, with what I have left, I can break it apart. These two are on top, so I can break it apart into two logs that are positive. This is on the bottom, so I can break it apart into a log that's negative. So I get log base A. They all keep the same base there. So log base A of A squared, log base A of B, minus, because the C part is on the bottom, log base A of C to the fifth. Well, the log base A and the A cancel out. So we're left with that. Now the last little step is I can take this 5 and I can move it to the front. I can also distribute this 1 third. 
to everything. I actually ended up doing that first. Now I can take that five and I can move it to the front. And so I get the five thirds. It didn't matter. You could have distributed first or you can move the five to the front. It would have been all the same. Same idea with this one, expanding it. I have one, two, three, four. Just by looking at the factors, I know I have four logs. Numerator, so both of those logs are positive. Denominator, so both of those logs are negative. So log base B of A, log base B of Y to the fifth, minus log base B of M to the third, minus log base B of N to the fourth. Now you just take those exponents, move them to the front. And that's going to be your answer. So what did we learn today? We learned about the two extra properties of logs, the power rule and the quotient rule. And then we also expanded these logs. So we started with one log and we expanded it into multiple logs. So what can you do when you multiply two values inside of a log? Like this, I can write it as two separate logs being multiplied. What can you do when you divide two values inside of a log? Like this, you can write it as two separate logs, but division. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.